Hey guys, welcome back to Rule the World. Last episode, we set up the Laughing Demon Tavern and we got our bard, Big Willy Strife, installed inside the tavern. The whole place is set up and you guys mentioned actually that if I put two dark oak clocks together, they make one big grandfather clock, so I might try that. But also, I had a thought. A thought occurred to me. I think Duncan and Kim are in need of some serious music injection into their otherwise drab and boring series. So what I'm gonna do is make a bard especially for them to play the flute all day and all night for them and drive them completely insane. So let's jump in and craft ourselves a bard and a town hall for them. Also, I'm gonna be looking at the mail system and I'm gonna be building a post office. So let's go. Right, okay, oh man, I, I, I like the song, Will, but could, could you could you keep it down, please? I mean, let's just like, you know. Oh wait, Will, stop playing the flute! Oh my God, Will, give me that thing. Yeah, what are you gonna play now, eh? Well, hang on a sec. Will's got a problem because oh my God, that's so annoying. Holy crap! There's no food. Why, Will? Downstairs, there's some food. Why don't you just grab some food from downstairs? Will. What? There we go. Ah, oh, that's so much better. Right, well, let's put Will back down and uh, we'll have to give him a song later on. Now, now he's had some food, we can give him back his flute, but we've taken away his tune, so he can't play anything for the time being. What we'll do is we'll save him for when visitors come to visit and they can play the song for him because, oh my God, that is going to annoy me if he keeps playing it all day. Right, so let's get over to the storehouse and grab what we need to make ourselves another bard. Because I think what Duncan and Kim would love nothing more is to hear that flute song all day and all night. Oh, yeah. Right, so we're going to need a town hall and some food. There's loads of apples in here, but I want to keep those. We'll take the cooked chickens out and we'll take some food from over here. Oh, there's loads of potatoes, so just, we just need enough potatoes to uh, to drive them completely insane. I think, um, yeah, four stacks should do. Right, so what else are we gonna do? We're gonna make ourselves a bard. What do we need for a bard? Well, I could put some of this stuff back in here. Let's get rid of the um, the dark oak, the cobblestone, the bookshelves we don't need. Oh, we were gonna put those in the tavern, actually. I'll put the wheat back in over here, actually. Now, I wonder if uh, Hannah and Panda have uh, made more bread. Oh, no, they haven't. I guess they're both busy cranking the hand crank generators to keep these furnaces going. But unfortunately, the furnaces aren't baking any potatoes yet. What we really need to do is get a courier to drop off potatoes in here so that they get, so that they get baked, but also to drop off the chicken, the beef, and the pork. And we need to give Hannah a work order that means she does nothing but bake bread or perhaps craft other things out of food. Maybe we could make her make cakes and things. That'd be cool. But it's all very complex. And at the moment, since the work, uh, since the work orders and the, and the routing orders are a bit bugged, we're gonna have to wait until they get fixed. Right, so let's get, in, let's get about making a bard. We're gonna need a chest or two for the bard, uh, for the town hall. We're gonna need wooden planks, might as well take those. What else are we gonna need? We've got iron and sticks for the banjo. We're gonna need food bundles, which we've got loads of. Gold, that's a good point. We're gonna need a bit of gold. So I'll just take two blocks. We might as well make our grandfather clock as well. That's a good idea. And that should be all we need. Right, so let's go and make a bard for Duncan and Kim. Oh, I'm trying to think what we're gonna call this bard, you know? I, I, I just, I'm racking my brains, but I can't decide. I guess, I guess we'll have to wait and think of a name and let it come to us when we head over there. Right, okay, so I'll need the food bundles the gold, but I also need the loot, which is, I think, four sticks like that. Iron ingot. Is that it? No, it's not. What's a loot? Oh, right. Planks, not sticks. There we go. Perfect. And you know what? We'll make two. There we go. Oh, awesome stuff. Right. Now, Put the food bundle there. Couple of gold, which is the bard's wages. Luckily, you can pay him once, and for the rest of his life, he will serve you. All right, and we've got his loot. And now we just need a town hall so that we can feed the bard while he's over at Kim and Duncan's base. There we go, simple. Just three logs, four stone bricks, and a chest. Right, here we go. So stone in the corners. I think it's wooden logs. Here, a chest in the middle. 
And Blamo, a town hall, sweet. Now it's time to get over to the Flux Buddies base and install these guys their new bard. Oh, I can't wait. Right, I think I'm getting close. Let's take another look. Right, so this is the map. Oh man, that's me. Oh, let's just zoom in. Now you guys get insider information here. You can see the whole of the map. Now this is all the beasties here. I've come all this way. I got a bit lost. Came and looped around here. You see now this is my base. Looking pretty good there. And then I've come up here. And now I think that looks like their wall. So I'm gonna just gonna sneak up and, uh, and kind of plonk my bard down so these guys can get entertained all night long. Oh man, I'm really excited about this actually. I can't wait to hear what they say. They're gonna come into my room. Oh my God. Oh right, I forgot, right? There's some rude dudes on the way. Oh, oh. Now luckily my sword is crazy. 15 damage. Oh yeah. Now let's waste this zombie too. <laughs> right, so I'm getting really close. Let's just keep going north. It's just over this crest. Oh yeah, and you can tell it's um, this is Kim's base because it's all fluxed and messed up. Just like Kim's face. All right, let's do it. Oh, now what's this? Actually, hang on a sec. There's a, there's a grave here. Can you guys see what that says? Nilesy? What the hell is Nilesy doing here? Tell you what, might as well take his stuff, see what he's got. Well, he has a whole lot of nothing, like a, a wooden sword. Oh man, I feel bad. I'm just gonna chuck all this away. This is just junk. Holy crap, mutton, an orchid, pumpkin. I'll keep the pumpkin, actually. Man, what a load of junk. I feel bad for him. Oh, well, I guess Nalsy bit the dust here. Rip in peace, Nalsinator. No more pool boys on this server. Oh, oh, contact. No sweat. Right, working my way through the forest. It looks like just up ahead is where I'm supposed to be. So if I just climb up here. Oh man, I should have just slept through the night with my sleeping bag, but never mind. It's almost daytime. Oh, in fact, the sun is rising. Wow, what the hell is going on here? Man, they, they got some really messed up stuff. There's some sh stuff flying into the sky. Oh man, I wish I wish I could cheat as much stuff in on my series, but I'm keeping it legit. So, uh, so none of that's spawning in to speed up the series. Right, so let's get close to their base and plonk down the bard. Wow, a giant platform full of dirt. I guess they're really scraping the architectural barrel over here. There's some mycelium there as well. What's that for? Oh, there's an enchanting table up here. Now, why have they got cursed earth down here? It's a weird one. It's not spawning anything so far. Oh, man. There's a king slime over there. I don't know what that's about. Oh, maybe he's up in that island. All right, so where am I going to put um, the guy? I'm going to I'm gonna dig a little hole down here. Oh yeah, this looks like a perfect place for me to put down my bard. Right, so I'm going to build the bard a house to start with. What's this? Is this a gravestone? Oh yeah, and there's some flowers. I guess something died here. Well, uh, never mind. I can just build over that grave, I think, um, and incorporate it into the design. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some wood. Uh, some stairs, we'll need some stairs, need some torches as well, and I reckon we'll need some planks too. I'm going to turn this oak wood into planks for the floor, and we'll get some dark oak planks as well. Oh yeah, just the stuff. Now what we need is some logs for the foundation. We're going to use just, we're going to make it just a very small house I think to start with. Just put like a log there, a log there, a log there. And a log there. Right, yeah, that's perfect. That's about the right size. And now we're going to put down a wooden floor like this. Now we'll build up the sides with cobblestone. And now it's time to design a roof. So we're just going to use some simple cobblestone here. We haven't got long until night falls, I don't think, so better be quick. And we're just going to give it a simple peaked roof around the edge. Something nice and simple for Duncan's kind of nice and simple compound out here. Here we go. Right, now we'll just fill in the top here with a nice spiral rooftop. Oh yeah, perfect. This is the great, this is a great place for our bard to live. Now we'll go inside the front door. We'll give him his town hall. We'll plonk him down, give him a name, give him a skin, give him a song to sing. And oh yeah, these guys are going to be so happy that I've given them a bar to entertain them all day long. Actually, I wonder. Oh no, that now there isn't. There isn't a battle horn. I guess a loot will have to do a battle loot. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down our bard, but only after we've put down the 
town hall. But also we want to be careful because we don't want our bard to escape. So what we'll do is we'll lock him in with some cobblestone here and we'll put some fence here so he can't escape. It's a bit of a cage, but you know what? That's A-OK -okay because these guys are just going to be so entertained that they're going to want to keep this bard around forever. I'm 100% sure about this. Right, so we'll put down the bard. There he is. Now we'll give him a loot like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now it's time to get into the advanced GUI. Now he's going to randomly play every now and again. I reckon he can play, uh, let's see. The minimum delay is going to be 120. And the maximum delay is going to be, ooh, I reckon. 460. I don't know what that is, maybe seconds, but that's okay. Now let's see, we're going to give him a song to sing. Now let's give him Ancient Warfare. Bard, Tune, Six, and this one is 0 0.48 seconds long. And I reckon volume, oh, I think, you know, 100 was a bit quiet, 200's okay, but these guys have like a huge bass, so they're going to want to be able to hear this wherever they go. So I reckon about a volume of a thousand, I'll tell you what, let's make it two. There we go. And we're also going to add another song, actually, because we don't need to be stuck with just one song. So let's add also Ancient Warfare Bard Tune 5. Now, this is another loot song, but this one is only 0 0.32 seconds long. And that's much better, much more reasonable. Uh, so there we go. Let's bring down the minimum delay, actually, to about 100. There we go. Just, just, so they, just so that they can hear the awesome music a bit more often. Right, okay. Let's just come out of here. Now let's see how far I have to go away before he stops playing music. Okay, I can still hear it over here. Just about, it's definitely getting quieter. Can still hear it over here. Can still hear it over here. Can still hear it over here. Oh, yeah, can still hear it. Oh. Oh, God, what, what's over here? Oh, dinosaurs! Okay, I'm going to run away. Right, this is perfect. You can hear it from quite far away. So these guys are going to be entertained all day long. That's pretty sweet. Now it's time to lay the finishing touches. So what are we going to name the bard? I'll tell you what, let's use the skin of Dave Chaos. Is this going to work? No, that's not Dave Chaos' skin. Oh, right, the C is capital as well, of course. Dave Chouse. Is that going to work? Yeah, there it is. So we're going to call him Davey Boy Chaos. There we go. And he's playing the loot. Davey Boy Chaos. Oh, yeah, play it, Dave. You always wanted to be a part of the Flux Buddy series? Well, now you can be. And now, of course, let's leave the finishing touch. Greetings, peasants. Greetings from Stinterfell, peasants. There we go! <laughs> oh, sweet. All right, let's leave them to it. Go on, Dave. Just ring, play another fat one, actually. Have we actually filled up the... Um, yeah, we put all the potatoes inside the um, inside the town halls. He's just going to play until the cows come home. Now it's time to get back to Stinterfell and work on a post office. Right, we're back at the kingdom of Stinterfell. Now it's time to get hard at work building a post office. Now, the post office function in Ancient Warfare is super cool, super awesome. It lets you just transmit mail all the way across the map. I'm pretty sure I've done the research to be able to build it. So what is a mailbox? How do you make it? You just need, wow, it's just six iron and two chests. That is one of the most easiest things I've ever made. What else is there actually to build in Ancient Warfare that we haven't made yet? You know what? I think this might actually be the final thing for us to do in Ancient Warfare. Apart from wage massive war on a large scale, of course. Uh, oh, oh, and of course, build iron gates. So how do you make the gates? Because we want some cool gates. 
Oh, again, these are just iron ingots, smooth stone, stone, and uh, and redstone. And you can make. Uh, what about the drawbridges and the uh, and the wooden gates? Yeah, they're the same. All oh, right, so they're super easy to make. So what's a block info tool? And what's a late construction tool? Ah, yeah, that reminds me. There is one more thing for us to do with Ancient Warfare after the post office, and that's show you how you can do the item blueprints. What you can do is you can create a blueprint for a house or any kind of structure, uh, feed in all the materials used to make it, and then when you put it down on a special work site, workers can come along and get to work building it. And by doing that, it's a, it's a kind of a legit way of copy and pasting the same thing over and over again. Right, so let's make some post boxes. Have I got any... I've got a chest here, but I should have some more in the uh, in the storehouse, of course. So that's iron along the sides, was it? And then a chest at the bottom and the top. Now, was that the recipe? Yeah, it was. So why am I not making a mailbox? Oh, it must be that I haven't got the research for it. Let's take a look and see what the research is required. Right, here we go. A mailbox. Research needed. Navigation. Oh, no. So how do we get to navigation? Let's see. Navigation. Research needed. Seafaring and the theory of gravity. All right, it's time to get back to work with the research station. So what's the research queue? We definitely need seafaring. And we need navigation. No sweat. So what are the required materials? Iron. Check. Oak wood. Just need to turn that into planks. Oh, just going to use this one instead. There we go. Check. We'll need some string. We've already got the wool. So we're going to grab up some string from the warehouse. So blim blam. In goes the string. And that should be all we need to do the research. Sweet. And now what about the next one? Next up, navigation. Oh, yeah, easy. Charcoal, an empty map, paper, and a compass. Actually, this might be a little bit tricky. Not quite sure how to make these, but they're all pretty simple. Right, there's a compass. No sweat. A map needs another compass and loads of paper. So what I'm probably going to have to do is get up some more sugar canes. I wish I hadn't spent all of those uh, all of those pieces of paper now on built making the uh, making the, the bookshelves. Right, so fingers crossed this is enough paper. It's enough for a map at least. Bam. Another compass. Man, it's a bit annoying doing all this research, to be honest. I mean, like, at first it was kind of cool, but it's actually just a bit of a blockade. None of this stuff is actually really hard to make. So I guess maybe in future versions of the mod pack, the research will be a little bit different and maybe there'll be a reason to do some of the later research because at the moment there's actually not that much reason to do some of the really high-end late game research. So what else do we need? 12 paper, so I'm going to need a few more sugar canes. Oh, whoa, look, I've got 64 there. No sweat. Blam. And now the final piece of the puzzle is, of course, charcoal. And you get charcoal by cooking wood in a furnace. But let's pick up the pace and double the speed by cooking them in two. Right, here we go. That should be it. There it goes. And I can take the paper axe. I shouldn't need to do any more researching now. I think this is the final piece of the puzzle. Blam! My current goal is no research. Right, let's grab out the book, put it in the crafting bench, and then I should, as soon as it goes in... Yeah, there we go! I've got a mailbox! All right, now it's time to build a post office. And you know how we're going to do that? Well, we're going to slip into build mode, and I reckon we're going to put the post office right about here in this nice space next to the crane where the old quarry used to be.